In this video from IT Free Training, I will look at two file protocols supported by Windows. These two are SMB and NFS. To start with, I will look at SMB. SMB, or Server Message Block, was originally designed by IBM back in the 80s. Microsoft took the protocol and added additional features to it. This included other software used by Microsoft, like LAN Manager. This allowed the Windows operating system to map a drive to remote file share and have this network drive accessed on that computer just like a local hard disk. To make things simple, I will skip the third and fourth point, but I will get back to them in a moment. Microsoft released SMB 2.0 with Windows Vista. This was a major rewrite of the protocol, which besides adding additional features, it also reduced the chattiness of the protocol, in other words, how much data it transmitted over the network. SMB 3.0 was released with Windows 8 and Windows Server 2008 R2. It adds additional functionality and improvements to the protocol. A lot of these are aimed towards the data centers. When a network share is mapped, Windows still automatically performs the negotiation and works out which version of SMB needs to be used. So, what were those points that I skipped? In the late 90s, Microsoft attempted to rename SMB to SIFS, or Common Internet File System. This attempt was unsuccessful, so I skipped these points so as not to confuse you. SIFS had some additional features added to it. However, the name did not catch on, and future versions used the name SMB. For this reason, SIFS is referred to as a dialect of SMB. You may hear the terms SMB and SIFS used interchangeably, but they are essentially referring to Windows file sharing. As we move forward, however, only the term SMB should be used, and SIFS should be remembered as a thing of the past. The next file system that I will look at is Network File System, or NFS. This was originally developed by Sun and released in the late 80s. Version 1 was used internally in Sun and was never released. Version 2 was released to the public. This provided basic network file sharing and was used extensively with Unix-based systems. Version 3 was released in 1995 and added 64-bit support and supported files larger than 2 gigabytes. Version 4 was released in 2000 and added performance and security improvements. These improvements allowed for additional security methods to be applied to authenticate users, for example, Kerberos making version 4 of the protocol a lot more secure than previous versions. In the real world, which protocol would you use? Windows shares support SMB, NFS, or both. It is just a matter of configuring which one you need or both if you need both. In the real world, it is best to use a native protocol when possible. If you are connecting two Unix computers together, it is best to use NFS. If you are connecting two Windows computers together, it is best to use SMB. Even though both protocols achieve file sharing, there are differences in the way Windows and Unix-based systems handle file systems and users that use these systems. Mixing the two systems can lead to problems. NFS is good for host authentication. If you want to connect two servers together, you can do this quite easily. This can be placed in the boot up configuration and the data available to the operating system without having a user logged in. You can even connect to another server based on its IP address only. Windows requires user authentication in order to connect to an SMB share and generally the user needs to be logged in. It is possible to get around this, for example, for services running on the local system, but it is not as simple as NFS makes it. Windows is good for user authentication. Until version 4 of NSF, this was something that NFS did not handle that well and was prone to security problems. If you have a domain, then Windows handles user authentication quite well. Ultimately, the choice comes down to which operating system you are using and your software requirements. In later videos, I will look at how Windows file sharing works and also how to use NFS file sharing using Windows Server. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. For more free videos, please see our website or YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.